Hey students, today we will see how to plot the frequency response so from the observed values. So here we can see this is your input for your system that is a 20 millivolt. This is your frequency which we observed for the different range. There is a low frequency, mid frequency and higher frequency. And you can see the changes over the output voltage. This is output voltage in millivolt. So this is a response for low frequency. This is a response for mid frequency and this is a response for higher frequency. And here I want to find what is the gain. So formula for calculating the gain is output voltage divided by input voltage. So what is output voltage 300? millivolt so 300 divided by 20 15 similarly 440 divided by 20 22 similarly I have found for all the values here it was tabulated here I have find in gain in dB the formula for finding gain in dB is AV A means gain the subscript V is in voltage point of view okay 20 log of V naught by VI dV. So, whatever you are calculating from this formula, that is dV values, right? So, 20 log of 15, repeating again, 20, you can take the calculator and substitute. 20 log of log base 10, 15, you will get this 23.52. 20 log of V naught by V A. That is the formula. What is the V naught by V A? These are the values for V naught by V A. You will get the values in the dB. So now we need to plot those values in the semi log graph sheet. So that is our requirement, right? So first you want to understand the semi log graph sheet. So here you can see. So this this value. See what is the maximum value? You can see. 28.943. So, minimum value is 23.521. Right. So, first you see minimum and maximum. Note on the minimum and maximum and choose the scale. Accordingly, you can choose the scale. See, I used 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, accordingly, you can also choose based on your observed values. So, if you get like a uh, 10 to 20 you can choose 5 10 15 20 or if you are getting uh, 10 to you are getting 30 to 40 absurd values so you can choose 30 32 34 36 38 40 so based on your absurd values that is a maximum and minimum you can choose the values here how i have chosen 23 24 25 26, 27, 28, 29. So, this values are plotted for dB values only. That is 20 log of V naught by VA by dB. Right. So, now I will show you how to plot the similar graph sheet. First, you understand the, here. See, 1. 1, I have taken this as 100. Okay. So, so that is uh, again I am saying it is based on the observed value. So here the values are observed from the 100 to 100 kilohertz. So I have taken the minimum response as a 100. Suppose you observed from uh, like a 1. So what you can do you can take like a 1. This is a 10 and this is a 100 and this is a 1k and this is a 10k. So, what is the understanding is this is a multiple of those values. See 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, then this is 10. Then multiple of 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then multiple of 100. So, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1k, 1000. Then multiple of 1000. 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 8000, 9000, 10000. So, this is a value to, this is a way to plot in the similar graph sheet. You need to understand first. But in our case, how I observe the values is 100 to 100 kilohertz 
it is a way it is a value it is absorbed in your sheet you can see how i have taken so you can see here so i choose uh, here 100 then multiple of 100 so that means what see this is a 0.2 this is a 0.3 this is a 0.4 this is a 0.5 this is a 0 0.6 7 8 9 10 so this is this is 2 3 4 that is 200 300 because this is 100 right 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 then 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000, 6000, 7000, 8000, 9000, 10000. So that is the value I have given here. You can see. See the down values for for absorbed value. This is I just said for our example. Okay. So here our values are taken from 100. So I have started with 100. Then next uh, uh, 1 kilohertz. Then 10 kilohertz. Then 100 kilohertz. Then you can correspondingly have a n number of ranges. So, for us, we need only 100 kilohertz. So, I have stopped in the 100 kilohertz. So, similarly, you can choose your own values. Okay, I hope you understand. This is very important to understand. So, these values are, see, these values are multiple of those values. So, if I choose 100, so, second will be 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. Then, 1000, then multiple of thousands. Then, from here, multiple of uh, 10,000. So, similarly, you will have a number of frequency ranges for that you need to plot your that is your output told in terms of db you have to plot okay now we will go for the first value what is the first value 100 and 23.521 now you can see here how many divisions are there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that means this will be 22 22.1 22 22.2, 22.3, 24, 23.4, 23.5, 23.6, 23.7, 23.8, 23.9, 23. Then 23.1, 23.2. Similarly, based on the values I have taken, the subdivisions are calculated. For example, if I am taking 23, then it is a 25. So each subdivision you can take it as a 222, 0.2, 0.2. Understand. So here I have taken the difference is one. That's why I have taken 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, like that I have taken. So based on the subdivision, based on the ranges, you need to take a division. That is, you have a 10 division. That is uh, important to understand. So based on that, you can split. So for in our case, 100. So this is 100, right? So in 100, what is the values uh, we want to plot? 23.5. So that means. 23 .1, 23, 23 .1, 23 .2, 23 .3, 24 and 5. So I plot plot for 26.848. That is 27, right? So this is a 200. This is a 100, 200. In 200, 26.848. That is 27, right? So 27.8. Then what is the next range? 500. 500 means this one 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. In 500, what is the value? 28.22. That is 28, 28.1, 20 20.2. So 28.1, 20 so here. Right. So this is a third plot. Of this so I can even I can write. This is a 23.521. This value is a 26.848. This value is 28.299. Then fourth value 1k. In 1k, what is the maximum we are getting? So approximately 29. So this is a 29. Similarly, for 2k. You can cal you can see 28.943. So I'll write those values also 28 29 approximately. So this is also 29. So next 5k. So 1k, 2k, 5k. 5k also 29. Then 10k. This is a 10k. See, so, uh, this is a thousand. This is a thousand. This is a 10,000, right? So in 10,000, 29 is plotted. DB. So now, 
next when you see the multiple of uh, 10000 20000 20000 what is the value 28.299 so 28, 28.1, 28.2, 28.3. So now we can write those values. So this is 28.299. Then 50k. 50k means this one. Huh? So here what is the value? 26. 26. Then 100k. Let's see, understand this is a multiple of uh, 10,000, right? So, so that's why it is 100k. So, the value is 24.608. Now, see, now we want to join this curve. Okay, and join this curve. You get the frequency response for here. Observe curve. So this is your real response curve, but we need to take the half power point. That is a 3 dB point. So that is a point is chosen. So this is a, a normal response curve, but we will not uh, take that range. We will be taking the 3 dB point. It represents the frequency at which the system is respo uh, response is delivered significantly due to attenuation and filtering effects. Okay, so that is a 3 dB point is a effective operating range of the system. So that is a uh, that is a exact uh, range of the frequency. See now to plot the bandwidth, we need to take only the 3 dB point. That is called half power point. So that is a point that is the amplitude of signal has decreased by 70.7 that is 1 by root 2 of its original value. So maximum is 29. So if you reduce 3 dB, 1, I reduced 1, 2, 3. Understand right? So for the maximum value 3 dB I have reduced. Okay. So this is a, I need to is the point so so what we studied is this is your lower frequency and this is your higher photo frequency so what is the bandwidth formula fh minus fl upper frequency higher frequency minus lower frequency so what is the higher frequency so here is It is 500, right? So this is 500 kilowatts minus. You will be having the this range is 200, right? So response will be 49.800 kilohertz. So this is the bandwidth. 